chapter for our session today. So, maunang. Um, last name? Um, Kadusale? Yes, already counted. Uh, makita na to na si uh, on their chat section, nasa yung cellphone. Uh, on your screen, there is a chat, chat session there, a chat button. You can click there. You can click and then it will redirect you to another form. Then for, for that form, you fill up the needed information for your attendance. Um, baklaan, it's still not there. Wala pa man. Okay, so, uh, if you cannot, um, do it, um, this moment, we can do it after our session, so that we can now start with our meeting. Okay, uh, I am begging you to mute your mic, so we can now start. And please tell your other classmates that we are now on uh, starting. Can you see my screen? Okay, so. Okay, so today's. Okay, let me remind, uh, we will just continue na lang, no? And uh, let us, I will just remind me later after uh, after our session. After our session na lang, parang mag-start na ta. Okay, so, for this session, we will have three topics to consider. So, tulo ni ka-topic. So, tulo ni siya ka-assessment, o tulo po ni ka assignment And the deadline for this one will be two weeks na lang. Kaya tulo man na, na, na usa man eh. Supposedly, I am recording it and I'm not holding a live session, but since we are obliged to go to the school for this uh, week, so that is why I plan na mag-live session na lang. Because uh, last two weeks, we are advised to work from home because of the rising cases on in Negros Oriental. Especially in our municipality that we have, we have nine active cases there in Tayasan. So, I have already given Dr. Recto an appeal na I can pwede bang maka home, work from home ko. It's because um, uh, baka siguro ba, I am not telling myself na I am a positive but probably siguro because maka hindi mo matagla yung mga tao then maka threat man ta diri sa bahis. But uh, what happened is they decided na just papuyoon na ko diri sa school uh, together with your publico to to uh, to stay over here for one week uh, just sleeping on the on the faculty room since we don't have a boarding house yet here so that is why uh, I am holding a session right now uh, for today so they have three topics after this one uh, probably tomorrow will be uploaded for the video and the session assignment a session assessment will be given to you tomorrow okay so let's further we will uh, we will just accept more students uh, okay so let's start okay the first topic and for today's session is input process output model so this is our review as you remember, I have given you activity to comment your answers. Uh, what we're going to do first, if uh, you are going to make a program or solve a program or create a program. And then I give you another follow-up activity, which is second thing. Okay, so this is what we're going to solve uh, to answer your questions regarding with that activity. So... Going back on our, uh, on your first year years, first topic you have learned in programming is the history of programming. But probably, 
you already it is included also on your preliminary discussion of programming the first thing you consider um, in really uh, making a program is first is to use the concept of the input process output model this is where it will start okay to consider things because after we will use the input process model you will be uh, also after on you will going to use flowchart or pseudo code did you remember what is flowchart diba flowchart is a uh, step by step procedure uh, okay by the use of symbols we di putag pseudo code uh, we can use that pseudo code uh, like our language Cebuano we can use Cebuano as long as we can um, make step by step, step instructions okay so probably you forgot this model input process output model or IPO model this is where the heart and soul of every IT students or IT professionals if you forgot this one probably there is a problem okay why because everything in this world starts with or deals with IPO input input process output for example we human we always take foods so we input no we we, we input we, we take foods we eat foods and our body or stomach will process it and then after processing it it will deliver to specific nutrients needed to our uh, um, parts of our body that needed that nutrients that we eat no after that process there is a decay and after that we go take a bath take our bathroom and what deposit our um, uh, our waste so from taking up for from taking a food input processing it then output our output is the decay but the processes it helps us to move because if we cannot eat probably we cannot move okay kapuyan mata move we don't have energy okay so let me discuss it much more because i give you just an example okay it is a widely in it this is a description for input process output model it is widely used approach in systems analysis and software engineering for describing the structure of an information processing program or another process many introductory programming and systems analysis analysis tasks text introduce this as the most basic structure for describing a process so as we can um, see on our, what we read this is the preliminary course or topic that you have to learn before doing programming so marag murag this is the part where nalimot mo that is why we have to go back so that we will use it for our uh we call it um topic on that right now because we cannot go create a program without this we we don't we don't use them the input process model okay that is what we call the preliminary preliminary topic that we have to uh, deal okay sorry i keep on uh, skipping the presentation because there are late comers okay so Another definition, a computer program or any other sort of process using the input process output model receives inputs from the user or other source, does some computation, computations on the inputs, and returns the results of the computation. The system divides the work into three categories. So in, 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 finding, in finding it or working it with your um, program, if you have given a problem, Please divide it into three parts or category. Parang di mo maglibog. If you have given a, uh, a problem, you should think the I I input process output model. I divide ni mo siya into three. What are those for the input? What are those for the process? And what are those for the output? 
so that you have already the model, a pattern that's really help in your conceptualizing and solving your problem. Because without, without this model or pattern, the IPO, it will make your, um, we call it problem solving much more difficult because we don't you don't have the pattern. So if you have given a problem, then you think that, okay, this is the needed input. This is the needed process and this is the needed output. You can chunk it those information and every category you have to decide and plan what are intended uh, things to do for the input, what are the intended things to do for the process, and what are the intending things to do for the output. So, you must chunk into three categories for your problem. So, what happened for you guys is when you think uh, if you're going to solve a problem, you directly no, uh, you are going directly find the solution. Direct sa output. So what happened is naglibog na mo. Am I, am I right or not? De ba? So kisa may uba na nakasulay ana. Maka because magli wak mo. Wala may pattern. Wala may pattern. Where to start? That is your problem. Probably, you forgot the this model because this is very important. In solving a problem, like me, kang make a step-by-step -step procedure, you cannot create a step-by-step -step procedure in that particular program if you don't know, first, what is the needed requirements. No? So, pag paghatag ni mo sa problem, please, paghatag sa problem, okay, this is the problem, then think, what is the input? Imong balik ko na pag-usob ang basa, what are the those input needed on this pro problem? Okay, then, nag-imo nang i-concentrate ang input. Next thing, you read again, what are the needed processes of this um, problem? You write all the needed processes, then think, output na po, i-read na po nimo ang problem. So, you read the problem three times, but you make a model na in the first attempt you think an input always input lang next next step always process next step always output so what happened after that you consider all the things that you have you have um, gathered and now you think that ah okay this is not the needed input process output of the program so what the next thing to do is to create the flowchart or the pseudocode the step by step instructions so, diri mo na pita murag na muraog na nalimot mo na this is the very important thing to do in problem solving. Nakuha ninyo. Any suggestions or recommendations or nakasabot mo na this is the very important one. Hmm. Okay, kinsam. Okay, so thank you. So, for example, okay. For example, okay, so this is the example, no? Um, a program might be written to convert Fahrenheit temperatures into Celsius temperatures following the IPO model. Okay, so by following the, I, the IPO model, Okay, following the IPO model, the, you see the program, uh, the problem. A program may, might be written to convert Fahrenheit to temperature into Celsius temperature. Okay, for example, this is the example. Um, makita niyo sa screen? Can you see? Okay. Hindi niyo mabasa? Dako, dako naman eh. Okay. Nakita ninyo ang IPO. Okay, this is the... That one. Okay. So, for example, 
For example, okay, let me uh, let us continue. For example, a program might be written to convert fa Fahrenheit, no, uh, okay, temperature into Celsius temperature. Okay, so imong lang taon, okay, the program might be written into convert Fahrenheit. So now there is a particular input, and that input will be the Fahrenheit. Oh, ang input is ang Fahrenheit. So, muna yung i as an input. As you can see, the IPO process asks the user for the Fahrenheit temperature. Muna yung input. So, okay. Ningon man ang program na ang i-convert ni mo into uh, Fahrenheit to to Celsius. So, only, the, only to do is to ask the user for the Fahrenheit from the Fahrenheit temperature. Okay? Muna yung input. Then the process, what will be the process? The process will be the formula. We are already told that on our high school days and our, on science. Paliog na lang kung mute for you. For those na uh, you can participate with my discussion, but please do not forget to unmute it after para hindi mo makadisturb. Especially for your backgrounds, we cannot control. Kana mga manok, mga unsa padira. Okay, so paliyog na lang ko. Once you, it's already to uh, to to participate with the discussion, okay, ragi na ako na. But do not forget to turn off your or unmute unmute your uh, microphone. Okay, so going back, so for the process, for uh, wala man tayla ing process, and uh, automatically is to convert the para pa the inputted Fahrenheit to Celsius. So na naman taan ay formula sa sa to ang pag sa high school, di ba? We have already uh, taught how to convert uh, temperatures, di ba? Sa to man ang physics siguro. So you have now the, uh, the, the the idea. Kung nakalimot mo, you can Google it. Di ba? You can Google it and ask uh, for the the we call it the the formula. Then the output is display the Celsius temperature. Di ba? From the problem, you make a detailed category or processes or steps for you to formulate for your next move, which is to create your algorithm, your your what we call your flowchart or pseudocode. Diba? Mamanay mo ang graphical information for you to analyze. Diba? So, in case for this one, you have pseudocode. Mamanay example of pseudocode. No? It's a, a simple, marasya like programming, but it is a language based, based in your intellect. So, for example, if you are writing in English, in a form of English, may ngundra ka na function main. They have a comment. This program converts an input Fahrenheit temperature to Celsius. Uh, okay. Declare real uh, Fahrenheit. Declare real Celsius. This is what we call it's just declaring a variable in this moment. And then it outputs something. Okay. Let, uh, okay. Wait. Sir. Okay. Next meeting, guys. Do not do not be late. It is because di mo ma dili mo ma tawag ani ma ma admit. Then if I admit you, maputol ang discussion. So probably next meeting, please na lang um, make it on time. Okay. So in that case. It outputs, we continue, output, enter a Fahrenheit temperature. It, because it prompts the user to enter uh, a Fahrenheit. So you take that as an input, a Fahrenheit, and assign Celsius is equal to Fahrenheit, the inputted data, subtracted by 32, times 5, divided by 9, because this is the formula of the uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. So output Fahrenheit 
Okay, it is an, it is called concatenation. I will be discussing it later. So it, this one, and then the output is here. Enter the temperature, it entered 100, 100 Celsius, and then the converted Fahrenheit is 37.77 blah, 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 degrees. So that is a pseudo code. Murag, ang pseudo code is similar like a programming. You are writing a program, but the problem is, uh, the, the good thing is, you are just declaring everything. Mararashag imong kaugalingong programming language. This is the thing that you have already, you have already um, familiar, creating a flowchart. Okay. So, this one and this one is the same. No? It is a main. It, it, it start because flowchart starts with start. And it start at it and end. Diba? Okay. Now, we have here real Fahrenheit. Okay. Variable. It is uh, declared. This symbol, it is equal, is, is, the, this symbol is, we call it declaration of variable. Define variable. Okay, oh, wala ni siyang mga inani dere. It is just a process like this one. It is a process. So, usually, ang basic na may guru gito lo ninyo um, previously sa inyo ang uh, programming. Okay. So, it is, is a declaration of Fahrenheit variable and the declaration of Celsius variable. So, it is output, enter Fahrenheit to temperature. It is input. Input and output is the same uh, symbol in, in flowchart. So, now, it inputted the Fahrenheit. Okay, this one is output and this is the input. The input, the Fahrenheit, and this is now the process. Celsius is equal to Fahrenheit. This is the, the formula. Okay? And then, outputs here. In end. So, as you can see, based on this um, flowchart, it derives from the concept you've um, gained using the IPO model. Okay, sa IPO model, nakadetermine naka gito ang input, process, and output. In every program, guys, when you create a program or ma system naman yun na there should be, there is always an input process and output. If you cannot determine what is the part na na input, what is the ty, par, part na na process, or na part na na output, murag diya mo na problema. If you cannot, uh, uh, we call it C on that part, asa da pita ang input process or output. So that is why this is the first topic that I made for you to familiarize input process and output so any question because encoding it's very easy if you know the prog if you already know the language itself you can now convert this graphical interface of this flowchart into a program no dali ra kay siya convert if you know already the uh, the solution Okay, guys, ang problema mang good na to, creating a program directly to the programming environment like in uh, in in IDE or in um, in any uh, application you have used in your phone, dili na siya makasolve. For example, you have given a problem automatically, then you open it and try to work on it, murag dili siya solution. Ang solution ni mo is to first go to the IPO model, drawing drawing kasi mo notebook, what are the needed input, process, and output. Then after that, create a flowchart. Then after creating a flowchart, that is the time you are now, you will convert the flowchart into a program. Ano siya? So this topic is just only for IPO. Any question? Okay, because uh, we will not tackle first. I'll go directly to converting the this program into uh, this closure into program. All I need to do right now is to to embrace the concepts, 
of in IPO because this is the one who will solve your problem in problem solving. Okay? Do not go directly to flowchart, but first, go first the IPO model, and next is the flowchart. Okay? Are we good? So, analyzing, so, asa mo na dapita ng sa to, ah. Okay? Natay, in your for, for, uh, mabot mag third year, we, we call it Software Development Life Cycle, SDLC. So, natay mga, we call it cycle, we got, for example, life cycle. Uh, it start, for example, kita, it start with the dust, we grow, and we end at the dust. Cycle na siya in life. In programming, we all have the same cycle, but we have five stages. Okay? First stage is planning. Planning what to do. Okay? Planning, for example, if you have given a prob problem, first thing you do is to plan. Uh, and that is, that stage, you use the IPO model. Kung itagaan kag problema, problems uh, solved to, to solve, use planning for IPO. No? Di ka magplano, unsan mo yung naitabuan yung programa, unsan yung pag-solve. You plan, but use the IPO model. Next is designing. In, pro, in, in IT, IT word, designing is not just adding colors. Um, that is not designing in us. That is, designing is, we will design, we will lay out solution. Since we have now already planned it, we have to design. Diba? We design, unsa, unsa man yung nakaklase ni na program based of the plan. So, na, since nakakita na makag-plan for the IPO, use flowchart as your design. You design it. Oh? So, they have the second stage. The third stage is what we call implementation or coding. That is the time you convert your design to a computer acceptable format. Diba? Imo nang gikan sa flowchart, imo na siyang i-program into C++ or Java. Next is debugging, testing. Since you are not perfect, when we create a program, we always test if that is if really what we design is really what is happening sometimes debugging and testing and uh, implementation coding and testing is do the umarag nasa sa usa ka stage because actually when making a program nagitay magtest pud ta diba okay so please na lang um buhaton na nimo while work while while working you also testing so Kanang stage jam, rag pwede mag-overlap na sila. Since after the testing, kung okay na, we have now the, uh, we called it the uh, adoption, man tawag na, eh? We will just, since you are just as simply in programming, di aram makutob sa coding and testing. Kaya na mo sa, sa first year and second year, guys, you all just taught that stages lang. Because, Pag abot sa third year or fourth year ninyo, will you use mo, abot kita sa full life cycle, kaya naman tay, um, adoption, after adoption, natay maintenance. Okay, siyempre ang system or sa program, mag-update mana, na. Diba? Kasi may sig tigdulag ML, tig, oh, do, tig, 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 dulag mga application, ba diba? Time to time, there will be an update. You know, upgrade, that is a good term also. Upgrade. Why? Because of the user satisfaction and user... For example, sa ML, nakita nila, ni-update sila. For example, sa itong mga bagong hero, nanindot sakit kayo. They have to update it na eh, to make it much more fair to other user. So, pag-update, naitabo na na, na yung mga hero na ni Kusog, na hero ni Gamay. After sa update, mubalik na siya into planning. Manang life cycle. Nang ano man, pag sa main sa, sa update, or maintenance, mubalik na siya into planning. Kisa ning micro na lang as kay can you mute? Pandili mo maka-disturb. So, 
gikan sa maintenance or upgrade, it will go back to planning. Then, ang planning na po, mabato na po sa design, ato na po sa implementation, coding, testing, and then always, always, always siyang cycle. So, always do the steps first in programming. Apply lang the stages like planning, IPO model, designing, flowchart, and then coding. Muna na ito ang i-apply. Three stages lang. Because, di naman mo, kanyang yung program nun, di naman kailangan i-maintain. You're just to probe, to solve a problem. Okay, nakuha ninyo. Ah, sige, ito rin nandung agad unya, Daya. So, we will just continue. After na lang sa kong meeting ron, um, we will update it. After na lang, ha? So, any question, nasabda ninyo that IPO model is very important for us. Murag ka ninyo, murag nalimta ninyo na approach in programming. Any, um, anyone agrees or unsa man na ay problema? Nasabda ng ratanan? Uh, nasabtan ra ba? That, that is intended, really? Important? Okay. Okay, always, always bear in mind na all you'll do, planning, planning, designing, coding. Kung muna'y tulo ka, tulo ka stages na inyong buhaton. Okay. Planning in the use of IPO model, designing in the use of flow charting, and coding. It's up to us because we are learning C++ language and we are also learning Java language right now. So, ito nang emerge right now, Karon. So, if we don't have any question of this topic, uh, we will now proceed to the other topic. Okay? Wala uh, na problema? I right, can we proceed? Okay, thank you. So let me. Okay, which okay, I record man ko. So uh, by the way, do not forget that there is an assessment of this topic and there is assignment also for this topic. So tulo man taka topic ron meeting ah uh, after twelve noon. So next up na tong topic is all about the introductory of C plus plus and Java. Then the last topic we have right uh, to this meeting is bar the the review of variables. Okay, so. I do not just stay put there. Ang ako lang i-close na lang na ako is the the recordings. I will stop the recording for my laptop.